Why does China want a homemade aircraft carrier? China did not develop an aircraft carrier until the late 2000s. The country's first carrier was the Liaoning, which was renovated from the Ukrainian vessel Varyag. It is classified as a training ship intended to allow the Chinese Navy to experiment and practice. It does not play the same roles as a combat-ready aircraft carrier. But times are changing, and now China is launching its first indigenous aircraft carrier. Constructed from 2014, this ship, likely called Shandong, will be China's first aircraft carrier for military operations. The steam turbines powered Shandong has similar displacement with the Liaoning. Yes, it is much smaller than America's Nimitz-class carriers, but outshines India's and Japan's carriers. The carrier will carry between 30 to 40 helicopters. J-15 fighter jets, and over a hundred long-range anti-air and surface attack missiles. The Shandong will travel with a combat-ready fleet, likely an arsenal of drones and submarines, more heavily armed than current Chinese attack boats. The Shandong is scheduled to hit the water in mid-2017, and its focus will remain on defense rather than offense. While the U.S. maintains an unnecessary naval presence in the waters, in particular in South China Sea, China needs a complete fleet for coastal defense.